Good morning, everybody. I never actually did say thank you for your support and thank you for all your um, everyone messaging and saying, um, worrying. I, I didn't say that I was only going away for a week. I did make it sound like it was worse, but I'm sorry about that. I didn't, I didn't mean it that way. I was sort of saying it was only going to be a couple of days. No, so the last video, I didn't say thank you to everyone that sent all those lovely messages and um, it's always awesome to hear you down in the comments and read the comments and uh, hear everyone's um, stories and also to see the support of um, you making these videos. Thank you very much. I've never actually said that on the videos, but thank you. So, yeah, um, morning. It is a beautiful Tuesday morning. Still not nice out there. Still windy and a bit wet. We aimed it out 10 mils out of the rain gauge. That makes it a total of 20 to uh, 21 mils over the whole time of the storm that's been brewing. Yeah. So, um, right. With that, I'm going to shoot off and go get the cows in. Hey, ladies. Good morning. Oh, we're out of here. Yeah, they're up. Off to the cow shed now. So, yeah, we got bugger all rain compared to some people. So, some people got an excess of 100 to 200 mils. We've got 21. So, it's perfect for us. We didn't need any more rain than that. It's enough to fill up our drains again, but not quite enough to flood us. So, it'll be interesting to see what the swamp looks like. It takes about two days after that rain before it will. But we still have a bit of rain around at the moment, so... Hello, 181. How are you going? She's a good girl. Still following those rules now, not to go to the cow shed, but... So that we can't sort of... We're swapping out the bulls today. Big fella shouldn't be too far in here. So the main reason why we swap out the bulls is to stop them from getting sore feet or other issues that um, could prevent them from doing their job. So we swap them out every three days for the first three weeks. We'll leave them to it. They will take these bulls down to their paddock and set up the paddock for today. And then, um, yeah, the girls will. <laughs> ah, these two are friends now. Come on, up, up, come on. Come on. Excuse me. Up, up, push. there for now because the cows are going to be going further down to another paddock uh, tomorrow so we'll have to shift them out but they'll be back with the girls in a week he's on to it today he's already got the first row out Sheepish. nice and close to the cow shed today Instead of locking them further up there, they get a bit more room now. They get this area down here instead of us putting cattle in there. So it'll be good for them. They're happy. Oh, I better get in there. Right, we're Girls are enjoying their meal. They're still on two pools uh, morning and night till this rain passes through. My little darling, up we go. Come on, yeah. Push up. Good girl. Come on, up. Girl McKenzie cow. Come on, up. Hands up again. Must be feeding very well. Getting fed very well. Very happy cows. Come on, up, up. Up. As usual, Dad brings in the row. 
And I push him up. Come on. Hop, hop. Come on. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Come on. Try to clean up the space. Come on, you. Push up. Oh, that's all right. Looks good. Washing up the cups there. Like he, um, he did trim their towels last night. It's made it a lot better. Cups are a lot cleaner. And uh, we think the cows have milked better from it too. <laughs> no, no. They milk well. Yeah, they milk well this morning. Arms didn't get covered in crap as much. Yeah. Yeah. I have one handed. stays in there, Daz is going to go get one big fella out and he's going to go back that way to the hills. Yeah, little fella's tiny compared to them, isn't he? There he goes. Fun on the big boys. Right, we got plans. Daz going to go and take him to the girls and he's going to go get those other two bulls, bring them out and they're going to go in here. So we've got two bulls in here and two bulls in here. These two are going to go in three days time. They're going to the girls, and those balls will be going in a week's time back to the girls again. So, let's go feed some carvies first. I don't know if you can tell with that fence there. I found a short, I got a good shot off that post. So, what's happened is the underground cables come split in half, and it's actually touching on the left hand side of that insulator, touching that wire, going around the post and electrifying the post. It's a good shot. Yep, changing of the guard. New fellas in over there. Oh, that's good. I'm just going to shift the mob that was down here on the stock bank. Give them this half of the stock bank. As you can see, they've grazed up to a certain point. I did put the reel across up here. That was where we were going to put a fence across, but um, we'll do that. Then we get a bit more time when it's not this wet weather rolling around. Dad's bringing those two bulls out. See them yet. They are pretty happy out there, there's still a bit of grass, but Dad said we're going to graze the other half now. Always good to leave a bit of grass and come back well. Mr. Bull's happy in here with his fine ladies. Shifted from there, and they got that side of the stock back now. And they do have their walls. That's it's all good. Get past them and uh, go see Dad. Trying to get the bulls moving. Try to get past each other. They can go opposite. Look at him. See how he's got his small rib cage showing? He's been working, been doing his job, so that's good. So that's why we change him out too. You don't want to work him too hard, and also um, saves their feet too. That's why we change him. 
three teams of two. Sit until the end of the about November, I think. That's the plan. We'll end of November. Just going for a drive down the farm. Just have a look at paddocks. A couple of night paddocks coming up. Nice storm passes. There's a night paddock there. Nice grass. Another night paddock. Beautiful grass there too. Got probably six nights down here actually. Why we double fence it so if there is one ball up against the fence which was what would have happened a little follow would have been up against here and the big boy pushed them through so happens so that's why we put a little reel around there most times and that's why we've actually got that tape there that's usually what we do is when the balls are all together we put it through there and the tape across here they don't seem to jump it and they don't seem to worry about it. Then they got down here, he was trying to staunch out the big boy just there. But no, the big boy's up against the fence here. Yeah, no, the little fellow didn't want to have a go at that. <laughs> right, then I'll see you all on that tonight. and get those two balls out and push them back. Dad's really set up paddock for tonight. They're going down Willow Lane, which is the middle first race. So that's cool. That's getting washed. We sent 5,706 litres. So not too bad. Not too bad. Very happy considering the time here. We, well, looks like we're going to crack the 15,000 solids for this month. So what that picture showed you was that uh, we we're at 15,000 solids, so about 14.8. Next two days is roughly going to be about 400 and between the 470 and 490 milk solids mark. So that means we should crack 15,000, maybe even get to about half the 15,500 uh, possibly. So that'd be quite cool. Get that done. So we're going to, um, it's not quite a lot. Farm record, farm record 16,700 for October, so it's still been a hard year. We've, we've as, you, as you can see, the previous three months from last year we've been beaten, comparing it to this year, 
but the year before that was that was a good cracker of a season the year before but then it got to summer and it really dried out so last year we still did 120,000 solids total this year we're aiming for that 120,000 again we've still got it was 1200 solids to catch up but I do think we're going to catch it up pretty quick considering the weather around the grass is still really starting to grow out there now so awesome oh here they come bulls leading the way behind the cow first cow so make sure the bull doesn't go up the um up the up here so keep yeah, it first girls are so it looks like mr bull here is not too sure it's his little fella or the big fella it's a big boy hey up come big boy back you go you know the rolls i know i know little fella's following up the rear there come on hello fella hey he doesn't know. <laughs> Poor fella. So these are the two medium sizes, believe it or not. He's not the smallest of the little guys, and he's not the biggest, but there's not much of a difference anyway. Same with this big fella here. He's the medium of the three big fellas that we're using. He's not the biggest, and he's not the smallest either. You can see who the boss is. And that's another successful milking. Just a slight shower coming through. This rain isn't cold. So even the wind behind it's quite a, not a hot rain, it's not a cold rain. It's a warm rain and a warm wind. So that just stays so that the cows aren't using any energy to keep warm. They aren't using, they don't really mind the rain. So they're actually uh, pretty content. And that's showing in the milk. The vat looks like it's up tonight again. So it's usually, I'll show you where it is. It's usually at, uh, what mark was it? It's usually just on that top tape there, that there. But now the frost line is just up there. See, just there, that line there. So it's up probably about that much on the back, which is a good 200 litres. And that's a night milking. Your night milking is where your highest percentages are uh, compared with the morning milking it's got a lower percentage. And it showed to, uh, yesterday, I got the results back while we were milking. We sent 505 milk solids. So even though they were down 200 litres, they were up 20, uh, about 10 solids on the night before, even though they were down 200 litres. So the girls are milking very well. They come back up. So strange. It's good. Awesome. And that's what we want to see. So it's finally getting a bit of um, October weather and more of a spring warmth in the rain and it's starting to show the grass is really responding to it. Looks like we're going to take off and get some great grass growth soon. But we just want to, that fella up there, that son up there to play ball. All right, let's go lock some cows away, see how they're looking down there. There he is, he's just inspecting. See if he can find anyone. Or over there is having a look around, seeing if there's anyone pulling. They've been working today, there are a couple of cows with their tails out that have been uh, gotten by the big boys. Two boys. He's looking around. That's what they do, that's why they lose weight. They're constantly walking around, looking through the herd, seeing if anyone's pulling, and they'll get the job done. They eat, but they don't get much of a chance, really. Always looking, always ready to do the job. <laughs> right, with that, like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the morning. Always great to see the cows in a nice, good paddock. Full, happy, and very warm.